I got suspended. But here's the catch. When I got suspended, I kept beating the letters home. They never called the house. They never checked the house. I kept beating the letters home. My mom never knew I was suspended. Meanwhile, my mom was uh, just graduated from Community College of Philadelphia, got into Jefferson Nursing School, uh, Jefferson University. She's working on a typewriter to work on her BA. She doesn't know, and working two jobs, one at the Veterans Hospital and one at a geriatric center. I'm suspended, I'm beating the letters home, I'm heading to school, I'm hanging out at school, and finally I got arrested. Got arrested for truancy and some other stuff that I did on my way to school. But this is when my life turned. My mom couldn't believe it. And back then, I don't know about the young people now, back then my mom got physical. She got real physical with me. And she said, all of this hard work that I put in, my mom, um, my mom came from Wilmington, North Carolina, uh, moved to Philadelphia shortly before I was born, while my sister was born, she's four years older than me. And she came to Philadelphia to make a better way for the family. And I'm throwing it all away on a few mistakes. I had a judge who told me that, well, first of all, I had the assistant DA who told me that um, I was a truant, my mom was a deadbeat parent, put all of these expectations or neg negativity in the court, and I reacted. I said, don't talk about my mom, this is about me. My mom goes to work every day. She doesn't know I'm out of school. The school isn't safe, and, I, and the judge listened to me. Called my mom up to the bench, had my mom present her credentials. He realized that my mom worked for a place called the Northwest Center. His wife was on the board of directors there. Now, young people, you may not be able to follow me on this one. He stopped court, picked up a rotary dial phone, <laughs> called his wife, and asked his wife about my mom. He said, young man, come here. He said, you're a mess. He said, your mom does everything for you. And at that time, we used terms like do everything for you to get you up out of the ghetto. Well, we call it poverty now. And he said, what you need to do, young man, is you need to find your ship in life. Get on that ship. Take a voyage. Don't look back. And he said, because if you do look back and you come back, I'm going to sentence you to 18 to 24 months in St. Gabriel's home for boys.